Hi everyone, this is Kyo again. So today's lecture is training number 10. Let's take a look at the main importance. Measure the GDNTs and how to apply MMC. So let's take a look at the datums first. Datum A is here, which is top surface of the part for leveling, and datum B is here, front surface of the part for rotation, and datum C, left surface of the part for translation. And let's take a look at the datum D first. There are two GDNTs, position and perpendicularity. Position is constrained with the datum ABC and the perpendicularity with the datum A. And datum ABC means the PCS and the basic dimensions is constrained and perpendicularity which is constrained with the datum A and also and both tolerances are applied with MMC. So datum D we're gonna measure as a cylinder because perpendicularity is constrained therefore it has to be measured by feature that has axis. And the next one also constrained with position and perpendicularity are the same as the datum D but there is a parallelism constrained with the datum D. On the parallelism MMC is applied on tolerance zone and also the datum reference which is datum D. So also this feature has to be measured as a cylinder because of the perpendicularity. And for the parallelism on the right, datum E as a reference. So I'm going to measure the bottom surface of the part and measure these two surfaces as a plane and create an intersected line and evaluate the parallelism. Datum E as a reference. So let's take a look at the practice. First, measure datum A as a plane for leveling. Then measure datum B as a line for rotation. And measure datum C as a point for translation. So after setting up the alignment, I'm going to measure atom D as a cylinder. Double click the cylinder and let's apply GDNTs for the datum T. First, sorting out the items. So, the actual value of position tolerance is zero right now because I haven't put the uh, nominal values for X and Y coordinate. Based on the deviation, the position tolerance is calculated. And to apply MMC, you just simply put M letter after the uh, value of tolerance. I just applied MMC, but there's no bonus tolerances because I haven't put a nominal value 
for the diameter yet. And also the tolerance. So now you can see the final tolerance after applying MMC. So now perpendicularity, double click the icon of the perpendicularity and apply plane 1, which is the datum A. But the actual value is the same because plane 1 is used for leveling, which means it's same as the PCS. So apply the MMC for the perpendicularity and close. And measure the next cylinder. Let's apply the uh, GDNTs for the second cylinder. Sold out the items first and input nominal values. And apply GDNTs and MMC, same as the item D. First, apply the tolerance zone for the parallelism and as you can see, still the reference is PCS and let's change that to the item D. Double click the icon and apply cylinder 1 and the condition box is activate. So choose MMC and click OK. So now the final tolerance after MMB and MMC is here. So move on to the next. Change the probe position first. So first measure planes on both surface for creating a intersected line. The measure line on the bottom surface of the part and move the probe in the safe position. And select plane two and three and create an intersected line. Double click the line 3 Click parallelism icon As you saw, in this time, you're gonna have to put the length of calculation Which is 63 And change the calculating direction as well Now input tolerance value. Now you can see all the information which datum references is used for the parallelism. So that's it for the training number 10 and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.